There we go. So today I'm going to be playing Nino Kuni Wrath of the White Witch. I have never played this game before, but... And I actually have no idea what I'm in for. Key bindings. But I figured I should just go with it. Oh, audio language. You can actually switch the audio language to Japanese. That's interesting. Should I do it? No, I don't think so. Wait. Wait a minute. Oh, so you can just... Okay. New game. Battles will be easier. Easy or normal? Oh, it can be changed any time during gameplay. Let's try normal. Mr. Drippy. But Ding Dong Dell's just on the way. Huh? Hmm? Oh. Huh? What do we do? Run for it! Ah! Ah! <gasps> ah! We're about to have a Lion King moment. <sighs> Get going, shall we? Huh? Hey, wait for me! <sighs> so this is... your world. That's right. A whole nother world. Beautiful, innit? I love Level 5 Studios. I remember playing Fantasy Life and a few of their other games, but mostly I remember Fantasy Life. I think they did Yokai Watch too, but Level 5 is just really good at what they do. Studio Ghibli staff. This looks really pretty so far. And cute. That character almost looks like Howl. Hmm? It's a new game called Nino Kuni Wrath of the White Witch. Uh, it's not new actually, it's been out for a long time. I've never played this game before, but I just bought it, so I'll... I'm going to try it out. Nino Kuni, Wrath of the White Witch Remastered. Now, I didn't know there was a non-remastered version. I'm guessing they're talking about the Switch version. Well, yeah, there was a version for the Switch, but I don't know if that version is remastered either. I wonder what's different about it. Sorry, mister. Good morning, Miss Layla. Why, good morning, Oliver. Your groceries are over there, honey. Thanks. Oh, I almost forgot. Did Philip find you? He said he had something to show you, dear. Really? This makes me think of so Kiki's delivery service it, huh? with all the little you know objects. He just stepped out with some deliveries for me. I doubt he'll have gotten far. Thanks, Miss Layla. Oh, say hi to your mother for me. Sure thing, Miss Layla. I probably shouldn't be interrupting the. Hey, 
Ollie. Wait. Over here. Do I just click to move? Use WASD to walk over to where Philip is. Okay. Philip. Smiley face will appear. Press mouse button to speak to him. Okay. Can I speak to these people though? How do you like my hot rod? She's a real beauty, ain't she? And brand new too. Maybe one day you'll be able to afford your own car and be as cool as me, kid. Nice car. My, these potatoes are so cheap. Perhaps I'll make some nice healthy french fries for the kids. Healthy french fries. Why, good morning, Oliver. How's your mother? Wait, now I want to talk to everyone. No, I want to talk to everyone. I can't wait for supper time. I bought myself a delicious TV dinner, you see. Oh my, but I forgot to buy some milk from Miss Leela's store. What's dinner without a nice big glass of milk, huh? Can't lie, having milk... Having a glass of milk is not too bad. Good thing you found me. Guess what? She's finally ready. So what Miss Layla said? Is it really what I think it is? What else would it be, dum-dum? Boy, you are something else, Phil. So what do we do now? What else? We take her for a spin. Tonight. What? Tonight? But I can't. I mean, I need to ask my mom. And... Sure, sure. You go ask your ma. And then when do we do it, huh? Tomorrow? Next year? Well, I... Holy. No, but... Okay, we'll do it tonight. But we'll have to be real quiet. Sure we will. Okay, tonight in my garage. Be there, or be square. Sure. Oh no, I don't want to be square. So what is happening? This is the child who will save the world. Or so says the crystal ball, your radiance. Hmm. The dark djinn's power alone will not suffice. I fear not. What is the child's name? Oliver, your radiance. Oliver? The minimap will be displayed at the top right of the screen as you travel around. This map lets you see your immediate surroundings. This tab to switch to the local map. Sick. Oh, I can't run. <laughs> Just gonna walk with these. Wait, do I really need to? Oh no, I'm going to my house. Okay. The weather is just swell. I might go sit in the town square and enjoy it for a while. I could really use a sunny day like IRL. It snowed last night. And it's just been really, really cold. I've been wearing socks to sleep. Do you like what they've done with the town square? I take the wife and the kids there a lot. It's nice to have such a wide open space right in the center of town. I can't run. Can I go inside these shops? Nope. So artistic. I can't go that way either. Okay. Where am I? Oh. It was like, follow the star, and I was just like, no, nah, I think I won't. I'm probably not even going the right way. That's okay, though. Look at her eventually. My avatar is making the angry face. Oh no. I didn't notice. That's probably because I'm, like, scrunching my face up or clenching my teeth or something. Hold on. I didn't notice because uh, I'm trying to, uh, I don't have two monitors, so it's kind of hard. <laughs> yeah, it's probably because I'm clenching my face or something. Let me know if it, I'm going to, I'm going to watch my own face for a second. You're putting me on. You're putting me on. Did she just say that twice? Shit. 
Good morning, Oliver. Oh my, just look at all the leaves and branches all over the ground here. What an awful mess. I'm wiggling. So yeah, this is the this is the face you're talking about, right? It's because sometimes I'm like trying to focus on something, so I just make a little bit of I scrunch my face up. Yeah, there is some kind of setting. Let me check it. Oh no 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 no! Don't return to the title screen. Okay. Let me let me change it. No 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 no! Let me clear. Yes. There. Now I should stop making the angry face so much and only make like the smiley face as more often. This is so hard to do without two monitors. I can see why. I was always like. Hey, why do people always have three or four monitors? And now I understand why they're streaming or doing multimedia stuff. It's pretty much required. I at least have two minimum. I guess you might, but if you have any more problems with it in the meantime, no, just let me know. I'll be there in a jiffy. What is? What are you talking? It's hard to buy these so early in the morning. I guess I'll just have to bite the bullet and buy a new one soon, huh? This is my house. This is my house. Hey, Mom. I got the groceries. Thanks, sweetie. Just pop them on the table, will you? Hold on. The fuck. The fucking game windows in the way of the chat. <laughs> If anything, you can change Did your you Sure. Yeah, thank you. Um, you're kind of busy tomorrow, huh? Well, now that you mention it, I do have to practice for my concert in the morning. Oh, yeah? So, you'll be in bed kind of early, huh? Mm -hmm. uh, yes, I suppose I will. Oh. Wait, isn't the chat supposed to- Can you chat again? Say something in the chat really quick. You will, huh? <laughs> will you stop being so- the chat box is supposed to actually show up in the top right over here. So like, just start saying, yeah, it, <laughs> it's pathetically small. Uh, I screwed up, okay. S say something else? Let me, let me do it. Yeet. There we go. Now I can actually see things. In the chat. There, now the chat actually shows up on the screen so I can see it. Also, I'm making the angry face again. Oh my god, this is a disaster. Sorry about all this. Where did my window go? There we go. Okay. Mysterious and eat your breakfast. You'll be late for school. Mm. And chew before you swallow. Mm. Mm. Turn off angry. Yeah, I I don't know if I can turn it off. But um Thanks for breakfast, Mom. I kind of cleared the setting that was detecting it on my own face. See you later, Mom. So it shouldn't be detecting it from Bye, my own sweetie. face anymore. Bye, sweetie. You be good now. I will. Hey, Phil. You didn't go to school yet? Ha! Ah, school schmool. Today's a special day, kiddo. Today's the day our dream machine finally rolls off of the drawing board and onto the streets of Motorville. Oh, boy. I can't wait. When can I see it? Oh, there, cowboy. Not so loud. Don't forget this is our secret. Hey, dum-dum. You didn't tell your mom about it, did you? <laughs> no, I did not. I asked her if she was busy, and she said she has a concert practice. So she'll be in bed real early. Perfect. Then tonight's the night. I'm still doing it. I can see it in the corner of my eye. I'm still doing it. Let me change it. I have to change it because it's ex it's detecting expressions that it shouldn't. There we go. So now my character is probably not going to smile on his own, but that's okay. 
Tonight at your garage, I'll be there. But now I can do stuff like this, and this. I can smile with uh, the hotkeys. Should be asleep by now. Nito, she's out like a light. Now's my chance, I have to get to Phil's garage. Press Z to open the main menu. You will then be presented with a range of options. Use the arrows to select an option and press enter. After having chosen an option, you could return to the main menu by pressing escape. Press it again to return to the game. So you can't use the main menu until you get to this point. Wait. Space? It just told me how to use the main menu, and I can't figure it out. Son of a bitch. Okay. It's Z. Enter. New slot. So you can have a, a bunch of slots. And you still can't run. Just sneaking around the house. This is a very old fashioned TV. I think most people who have an avatar like this, they control their emotions with the F keys anyway. Because having it detect your own facial expressions makes it go haywire. I'm trying to get out of the house. This is a very detailed house. Okay, door. There's just people walking around at night. Why, good evening, Oliver. What are you doing out so late? I hear people talking. What are you doing, kid? It's late. There's nobody around. But this is Motorville. I guess she'll be okay. Oh, hi. Um, did you want something? Let's test some emotions. Start with the shy emote. Um, I don't think shy is an emote. But I can do stuff like this. And this. And this. And this. I think this is just a sad one. And then there's this one. You sure? So yeah, there's like five of them. This is a shocked emote. But I can't like move my arms. The program doesn't let me do that. <laughs> this isn't the way to Phil's garage. In here. What are you looking at? <laughs> Rude. What is it with that kid? She's just Look looking. Slow poke. Sorry, my mom just wouldn't go to bed. So, is it finished? Sure is. The last bearing's in, and she's primed for action. Want to see? Do I ever? All right. Here goes nothing. Okay. Wow. wow! Oh, is this neat? Phil, oh, this is so, so neat! You betcha! It's so neat! <laughs> the new Coupe Deluxe ain't got nothing on us, Ollie. It's not even close! So, you ready to hit the road, kiddo? Yeah! <laughs> oh, 
Okay, there's nobody around. We should take her outside now. So, uh, Phil, who gets to drive first? Huh? Hmm, let me see now. Tell you what, kiddo, if you run down the street and make sure the coast is clear, I'll let you go first. You mean that? Oh boy, oh boy. Uh, okay, wait right here. And watch out for Starry Mary, will ya? Starry Mary? You know, the girl who was spying on us before. I swear, that kid is cracked. See, there she is again. I'll bet that tattletale goes straight to her olds. She wouldn't do that. What, are you sweet on her or something? Go check out front already. Sure thing, Phil. I'll be right back. The coast is clear. I better go tell Phil. Don't go. What? Huh? It's bad. Please, Oliver, don't go. That's yeah, not Starry Mary. Huh? Who are you? How do you know my name? Ollie! What's taking you so long? I'm sorry, Phil. Someone saw me. Oh, man. Who was it? Oh, uh, that girl over. Huh? What are you talking about? Huh? There's nobody there. Huh. That's weird. She was right there. A girl. Uh. A girl, huh? Mm-hmm. I bet it was that dumb, scary Mary. Oh, no. Couldn't be. She's not allowed out. You must be going screwy or something. Anyway, come on. Oh, oh, okay. <sighs> Ghost. Oliver, the boy who will save the world. But unfortunately for him, his light is yet a mere candle in the blackness. Indeed. He may be the child the prophecies speak of, but he is a child nonetheless. Yet these humans can be disturbingly powerful. Did the other's darkness not engulf the land entirely? Might this one not prove equally... Tenacious. What would you have me do, Your Radiance? Such saplings must not be suffered to grow. Very well, Your Radiance. Oh my God. He who would save this doomed world must die. She looks. <laughs> she looks like a JoJo stand. Sweetie? What is that on my phone? Where are you? Who's doing that? Oliver? Oh. Oliver? Um, you're kind of busy tomorrow, huh? Well, now that you mention it, I do have to practice for my concert in the morning. Oh, yeah? So, you'll be in bed kind of early, huh? Oh, Oliver. No. Oliver! This can only go well, I think. Man, he just made a mini car. Uh, would you listen to her, Per? Ready? Take it slow to start with, okay? Yep, got it. All right.
He's oh, he's pretty much just like the kid from Geeky's Delivery Service. Oh god, here it comes. Can't swim. Philip, what happened? It's Ollie. Oliver. Where did all these people come from? Oliver, wake up. I'm so glad you're okay. Uh, I'm sorry, Mom. I'm sorry. I swear, if I'd known, I never would have. Don't be silly, Phil. What about your car? That hunk of junk? I can make another one in no time. Well, I think you two have had quite enough. Yeah, he can just build day. cars. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Are you okay, Phil? I have twisted my ankle back there. Whatever will you uh, children get up to uh, next? Uh, huh? Uh, Allie, Allie, uh, Allie, are you okay? Mom, uh, what's wrong? Uh, oh my! Mom? She always did have a weak heart. Mom, oh, dear, I'll fix the doctor. Jesus mom? Christ, is Mom having a fucking heart attack? Oliver, sweetie, oh sweetie, Mom, you'll be okay. I know you will. Please don't tell me mom dies. Be good now. No. Oh my god. Me. You must be joking. Mom? Mom? Mom! No. No! Don't leave me. You can't. Just like that? Mommy, don't leave me. Mom. Sentimental fool. Sacrificing herself to save her child. And yet thanks to her, the boy leaves. It's been 30 Uncle. minutes. But shorn of his mother's love, to whom can he now turn for guidance? And soon he will come to our world. Where our powers are strongest. Very good, your radiance. Mm. Why do I feel like she did Let's something? See how this story unfolds. I'm sure the ending will be engaging. She literally looks like a she looks like a joke joke character. <laughs> Oliver, honey. I brought you some apple pie. I'll just leave it here for you, okay, dearie? <sighs> Bad cat. Now, now. You'll just have to wait until dinner, Timmy mm. told him. Timmy it's told so him. Sad. He's been in there three whole days now. His mom died. His mom died. I don't think I need to say it again, but his Oliver, mom fucking died. Today, but she's asked someone very special to take care of you. Mommy spent a long time making him. I'm sure he'll look after you very well. God. Be good while mommy's away, okay? Mommy. Is something wrong, sweetie? Hmm. Just come back soon, okay? Of course, sweetie. We'll always be together, Oliver. Always. Always. 
This is so sad. <laughs> I'm not- I'm not trying to laugh, but like... I'm trying to laugh because I don't want to cry. He's like, oh, I'm in pain! Huh? What just happened? You just witnessed the rebirth of Drippy, Lord High, uh, Lord of the Fairies. Um, what's all this then? What, are you deaf or something? Drippy, Lord High, Lord of the Fairies, I said, didn't I? Drippy. That's right, and I'm sick to the teeth of you are sniveling and moaning. A proper crybaby bunt in you are. Three days Why is everyone treating him like this when his mom died? For three old days, I'm surprised there's a drop of water left in you. You're a big boy, man. Three days is, well, it's unheard of. What? How old is this kid? Oh dear, a bit flummoxed, a wee bit lost for words. Not to worry, man, I got all the answers. Oh, but uh, prepare yourself. Explaining all this is gonna take a while. Ready? Hey, that's my pie. Okay. Uh huh. Tidy. I like your style. Very honest, anyway. Stay that way, okay? Take you far, I will. On with the show! Uh, okay. See, it's like this, see? What it is, is there's more worlds out there than this one by you. There's what you might call parallel worlds, see? They're like worlds along by the side of your one. And one of those worlds is my world. That's right, a whole nother world. Another world? That's quick you are. And I, that is the Lord High Lord of the Fairies, the reason I'm by her in this world of viewers, well, it's because there's a proper bad apple trying to upset the peace of both our worlds, see? Shada, the dark djinn, his name is. Shada. What he did was, he took over people's hearts and spread war and ruin all over our world. Tried to stand up to him, I did, and he turned me into a flipping doll and kicked me <laughs> out of our world and into yours, the rotter. Uh-huh. And then you went and cried all over me and poof, the curse was lifted, just like that. Which makes me think you must be the one we fairies call the pure-hearted one. The one the legends say will save our world. Just goes to show you can't judge a book by its cover, eh? So, anyway, that means I better get you over to our world and have you get rid of Shaddaa for us. All right with you? Me? But how can I... Don't fret, man. It's a big responsibility, I know. But you'll be all right. Especially with me to help you. But I... He seems trustworthy. Like, I, oh, I don't know what it is about him, but I trust him. What? Oh, pure-hearted one, will you please come and save our world? I... um... no. No. <laughs> Sorry, I must have misheard you. What did you say? Go on once more, but louder. I won't do it. I... I mean... I can't do it. This is why they say never work with children. I ask nicely and you give me a hearty yes, sir. That's how this works, see? Gee whiz, that would be swell, you say. It's just how these things are done. It's tradition. How am I supposed to work with this? It's like he's never read a story in his life. But I don't know anything about your world. It's his nose, yeah. And I just can't right now. What, because you a man dropped dead? Uh, oh my yeah. god. You got a photo of her? Uh. Hurry up, will you? I haven't got all day. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, his nose okay. lantern, something about it is just like, hmm. I believe. Let's see now. Blimey. It can't be. But then it can't be a coincidence, neither. What is it? The great sage Alicia. Then we might just be able to save you, ma'am. Huh? What are you talking about? You ready for another year full? Yeah. The souls of people in your world and my world are connected, which means people from over by you have another version of themselves over by there, called a soulmate, see? And people with soulmates can even look like each other. Now, You've got an you RPG man, well, version of yourself. a soul with the great sage Alicia. A proper talent she was. Huh? So my mom was a sage? But how does that help us save her? Well, Alicia tried to take on the Dark Djinn, but his power was too much for her, and he trapped her in this dark jewel called the Soul Snare. When that happened, then the link between hers and your mam's souls would have been cut off. But if you could free Alicia, it just might fix the link, and who knows, it might even bring your mam back. Your really mam back? I can't be sure now, but it's possible, yeah. 
Wait. How do you know all this, Mr. Drippy? Mr. Drippy. You've been a doll this whole time. Ah, now there's clever of you. Good question, lad. It's like this, see? I'm not the only fairy. Even though I was stuck by you, my buddies were keeping me abreast of what's going on over there. How? I suppose it's what you might call telepathy. And that's not all. I was sending my lordly orders back over there, too. Having them spy on Shaddaa and that, you know, tidy, huh? Hmm? What is it? I'll... I'll do it. I'll come to your world. I'll come with you and save my mom. Oh, that's marvellous! You might be doing it for all the wrong reasons, but if it saves our world, I won't look a gift horse in the mouth. Tidy! We better get going then. Chop, chop! Okay. I don't know if that's a wrong uh, reason. How do we get to your world? Oh, curious, are we? All right, I'll tell you. First thing we need is a drop of magic. Go and have a dig around in the fireplace. There's something hidden there so nosy parkers won't find it. But why would anybody hide something in there? That's for me to know and you to find out. Look lively. The fireplace one downstairs in the flipping living room. Do you even flipping live here? Yerp. Uh, the fireplace is over here. What could be hidden in a place like this? A mighty spell book! Huh? A book? But it were burning there. Not this book. The wizard's companion laughs in the face of fire. Wouldn't be much of a spell book if it didn't, now, would it? Really? Aha! Gotcha! He has no nose. He didn't even cough. <coughs> this is a spell book? That there is the wizard's companion. The fount of all wizarding knowledge. The wizard's companion. Either that or the nose lantern just plugged his nostrils up real good. And none of that crap got into his nose. <laughs> okay. Now listen up, I'm gonna teach you what teach you what's what in that wizard companion of yours. If you want to have a read of it, press Z to open the main menu. You should see it down at the bottom right there. Then you just need to choose it with enter and you can leaf through the wizard's companion to your heart's content. Take a minute or two to have a skim of a few pages, eh? You look like a smart lad, I'm sure you'll get you'll soon get into it. Oh, I almost forgot. The first thing you have to do when you make your hands, when you get your hands on the witch's companion, is to make a pledge. You need to vow that you'll do all you can to be worthy of being a wizard. And look so flipping worried. It's not hard. All you have to do is write your name in the book with an open, honest heart. And you don't even have to write all over if you don't want. You can write bunting, crybaby, or whatever you like. The important thing is that you mean it. Go on, scribble your name down. I think just Oliver is fine. Yeah, Oliver. Actually, no. What the f What? Nah. We're just going with Oliver. No, no, no. That says Oliver, right? Are we happy with the name Oliver? Yerp. Good. Tidy. Right. Magic in our way over to my world, is it? Yerp. Hmm, now let's see. What is it? You got a wand somewhere by here? We can't go casting spells without a wand now, can we? A wand? Why would we have a wand? Oh, that's a pain. Ah, oh, well, can't be helped. We'll just have to look for one outside. Huh? We won't find one out there either. Don't nitpick, crybaby bunting. Bunting? My name is Oliver. Oliver. Ah, so the crybaby bit was right, at least, was it? Ugh. <laughs> right -o. time to find ourselves a magic wand. You mean there's one hidden somewhere around here? Like a spell book? Ah, if you're having yourselves a lap if you... I think I'm going to make it that easy, Mun. What do you think I am? Made of wizarding equipment? No, this one's going to be a little more difficult, but our journey to my world is a hunt for the soul snare, among other things. So why don't you treat this as a warm-up, the easter egg hunt before the wild goose chase, if you will. The... huh? Um... okay, I guess. 
Okay, I'm lying. The thing is, I never brought a wand with me. I mean, look at me. The price of my lovability is my small stature, ain't it? I only just managed to carry that flipping book, mon. Any more and I'd have been crushed. So even fairies tell lies, huh? Of course they do. Us fairies are incorrigible liars. Anyway, no point in crying over spilled milk. Let's find ourselves a substitute, shall we? A substitute? How can there be a substitute for a magic wand? Well, if you can find something brown and sticky, like maybe a stick, you might be able to have muddle through. Uh, okay. You're sure a stick will work? You think I'm setting you up the garden path or something? Fine, I'll give you a hand. Follow me, bunting. When he said sticky, I thought he was talking about, like, nasty sticky, but... Oh, sure, yeah, get me the telephone pole. Well, a lamppost is <laughs> telephone pole. Eh, what are you looking at? Don't tell me you're thinking of using this lamppost as a flipping wand. Well, you can cut that out for a start. It's way too flipping big. You need a stick or something like that, ain't it? Why don't we go have a look over by over there? Oh, okay. What do you think, Oliver, dear? It looks a whole lot better now that I've cleaned up all those leaves and branches, hmm? Why, there isn't so much as a twig left. It's spotless. Uh, yes, ma'am. Thank you for doing that. Well, there's no need to thank me, dear. It's my pleasure. We could have used those sticks. This is one proper tidy motor, eh? Might get myself one of these. Ahem. Sorry, now it's not really the time, is it? There ain't anything wand like over by here, either. Let's go and look over the other side, shall we? Uh... Okay. Oh, and when you find something, don't forget to pop it in your bag for safekeeping. The top left of the main menu is your bottomless bag. And there you'll find all your items nicely sorted into different categories. That's handy. Just Q and E to shift between the categories. Of course, there ain't too much to see at the moment, but when you've got loads of stuff, you'll be glad of a bit of order, ain't it? Anyway, next time you pocket a tidy item, be sure to have a closer look at it in your bottomless bag. Put it in my bag. Sure. The bottomless bag is now accessible. Find a stick that you can use as a wand. Oh my, it'll be dark soon. I should be making a start on supper. The adults here in Motorville are all fine, upstanding citizens, which means that you'll grow up into a fine, upstanding citizen too. Your mother can be sure of that, wherever she is now. Gee, thanks. I wish our house was like this. Oh, I can run. I can walk. You can cycle walk, but you can't cycle run. It's no use. There's nothing around here that looks like a wand. You're not wrong, Bunting. Alright, we better split up then. Broaden the search, like. I'll go and take another quick look around your house. You stay by here and head up the outside search, okay? Uh, okay. Oliver's just like, um, okay, I guess. To everything. Okay, brown and sticky. Brown and sticky. Oliver. Huh? Oh, it's you. You're, you're the little girl I met before, huh? Mm-hmm. We met before. Wait, so... How do you know who I am? I'm really, really sorry, Oliver. Huh? Your mummy. I'm sorry. I couldn't save her. Oh, sorry. Did your message huh? get deleted? It's probably because you did it in all caps. I wanted to save her. You can type your message I again. I really did. Huh? Hey, wait. Where are you... going? Hey! Why did you Sorry know? about that, I had a Why are you talking to thin air? moderator Mr. bot Drippy, that deletes all caps again. messages. Huh? Who did? That strange girl. That's the second time she tried to talk to me. What's that? A girl? Just type Where? your message again without the You're caps. Like the most strange. I can't I'll edit it later so that it doesn't well, instant you? get you for that. Sorry. She disappeared into thin air. Well, anyway, there's something I want to ask you. There is? Uh... Sure, go ahead. Do you mind it? You know, having a sidekick, like. Huh? A sidekick? Who do you mean? Crikey, oh, the ghost. <laughs> Who do you mean, he says? Why not stab me in the heart while you're at it? I mean me! I wanted to know if it was alright me joining you on your adventures. Or if you were maybe wanting to trade me in for a younger, prettier model. But it looks like I got my answer, huh? 
Well, so you know, if you don't have faith in people, you'll never see their true worth. And what's more? Look at this. Huh? It was on the ground, right where that girl was standing. Check it here, then. Ta. Well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. It's a wand. You mean it? A real wand? Come over by here and take a look, man. It might seem like any old stick, but it's got all magic writing on it, see? It does, huh? Wow. Is that how people write in your world? The runes are all faded, so it might have lost a bit of power. But, for our current purposes, it's a beauty. Neato! What a stroke of luck. Luckier than you know, Ollie boy! Dude, I never thought we'd actually Dude. find one. What kind of word is that? Did you, you see that? Maybe that girl brought it here for me? Right, now we need a place to cast our spell. To cast Gateway, you need somewhere proper massive. You need space to give it oomph, see? Do we really need that much oomph? Oomph? Yeah, what kind of question is that? Magic is special, innit? It's sacred, right? You have to cast spells in the best environment possible. You really are new to this, aren't you? This is beginner stuff we're talking about here. Oh, uh, sorry. Now, take me somewhere with plenty of space. It's got to be somewhere around by you. Um, the town square, I guess. He's just so uncertain about everything, I feel bad. He's just like, I have no idea what I'm getting myself into. I have no mother anymore. This little nose lantern dude is just talking to me now. And he's talking about using wands and crap. My life is a mess, basically. So I just, I just uncertain about what everything in my life now. Here? No worries, man. Normal people can't see magic, see? Go on, Ollie boy. Cast gateway. Um. All right. Gateway. Cast it. I probably should have read it. I just hit the enter key. That's the Omega symbol. With a line through it. <laughs> the pull of Vincent. <laughs> yeah. I just hit the enter key. I was like, nah, I don't think I'm gonna read today. Tidy! The dog is not normal. You see that? The dog is not normal. Normal people can't see that. The dog is completely abnormal. Let's get a shunting, crybaby bunting. Let's get a shunting. A shunting, a bunting. Holy crap. Oh, the gateway symbol's in the corner. Oh yeah, we saw this earlier. I don't know if you were here for that, but this scene played earlier and I was, then it was just like, actually, let's go back to real world for a second. Hey, wait for me! So this is... your world. Ah, home at last! But there's a tidy way to go yet. Hey, Mr. Drippy, that was pretty neat just now, huh? Oh, that herd of elk! Enjoy your first encounter with the majestic wildlife of our mysterious elk? world, did you? Uh-huh. Oh, no. Huh? Jeepers. It's a Flareon! Oh, Nickers! Where did he spring from? Huh? Ah! What do we do? He's not like the big softies just now. He's itching for a fight. Proper savage. Let's run away. No, use that stick you got by there. Give him a whacking and send him packing. Huh? Huh? Ah! Look, lady. <laughs> He's just screaming. He's just screaming. It's a wand. It's just called a rough. Let's do it. 
attack. Don't fret, Ollie Boy, let your old pal drip be talking to the basics of battle. Or something that looks like green gauge, but that shows your health points. Oh, yeah, yeah, we get we know how to play an RPG. Magic points? Don't worry about magic for now, Mun. Let's talk about the beasties first, shall we? You can see lots of information about them up there on the right. That's useful, eh? The red gauge shows you their HP. Get that down to nothing and you've won. And the speech bubble thingies down by here are the commands you can use in battle. Well, that's enough to be going on with. Try giving the rock a smack with your stick. Just use... Are you for real? It wants me to use the minus and the equals key? Holy shit. Okay. Nice! Tidy, or should I say, nice! That's what they say when you find an enemy's weak spot or block a big attack, see? Oh ho, and look at that, it's dropped something, you'd best pick it up, eh? Oh, so this combo is kind of different, you can sort of move around in the middle. This kind of reminds me of the Tales of Battle. This is known as a Glim, Molly Boy. Enemies drop them in the heat of battle. Green Glims, like the ones that you got, will restore a few of your HP. And blue ones give you MP back, same color as the gauge, see? Tidy! Oh, and you can also give your HP and MP with a boost with spells and items, ain't it? Of course, you'll just have to take my word for that, what with you not having any at the mo. Okie doke, that's enough for me, it's time for you to practice what I preach. Go on, boy- boy- boy buck? Give him what for? Nice! Oops. Slapped it with a stick and it fell over. <laughs> Got 3G for that. This should probably play a lot better with a hey, with a Heidi, controller. Jeepers, creepers. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. Our world is absolutely riddled with beasties. But keep that up and you'll have nothing to worry about. Right, let's get a move on, shall we? Sure, Mr. Drippy. But where are we going? Well, first off, we need to get you a wand. But I already have a wand. You're having a laugh, aren't you? That thing's about as magical as a flipping cabbage. Who says cabbages aren't magical? just squeeze a gateway spell out of it, but you can forget about anything more than that. Honestly, I wish you'd think before you open your mouth. Oh, uh, sorry. He's just been now, doing nothing but thinking we'll before he opens his mouth. Tonight. Well, if we're very lucky, we might find a wand with a bit more oomph down by there. So... Are wands really so hard to find here? Well, time was you couldn't move for the flipping things. But since Shadar showed up, magic's taken a real nosedive. He, he says as he stares at his cursed nose anyone who tried to. He scared them all so much they gave it up. So, he's pretty scary, huh? Well, he turned me into a flipping doll, didn't he? <laughs> Just saying his name's enough to make most folks brick it. Brick it? Rather be a doll than have him go poking round like shit a heart. brick? No one wants to be broken hearted. Is that what brick it means? Hearted? Like sad? Worse than that, much worse. It's when he steals a piece of a person's heart. Poor beggars don't know whether they're alive Poor or dead. Beggars. There's no way to live, man. So that's why they're all so scared of him, huh? We can't let him go on doing this. Poor beggars. Well, it's not a matter of letting him, is it? It's not like people flipping enjoy it. That's why I brought you here, innit? You might just be able to stop him, see? You really think I can? Of course you can! You are the pure-hearted one! And the legends say that the pure-hearted one will drive away the darkness. We'll teach you a few tasty spells and you'll be ready to face him in no time. Sound good to you? Okay, I'll do it. I'll learn magic. Gay magic. Of course you will, and that's why we need to find you a better wand. All right, let's head for Ding Dong Dell. Ding Dong Dell. I like the name. It's good. I just saw a notification in the corner, but I couldn't read it because my eyes are shit right now. Ain't it beautiful, Ollie Boy? Hi, it's good to be back. Our world is absolutely riddled with monsters. If one of them's lost, you'll see a big e eh pop over its head, and it'll charge. When it gets within touching distance, you'll have a fight on your hands. If you run out of HP in the middle of a battle, you'll be out for the count, so be careful, ain't it? Oh, and there's a tidy little technique where you sneak up behind monsters without them noticing, you can get the first hit in. Yep. So, basic RPG shit. 
Don't let them sneak up on you. It's here to get from the Lord High Lord of the Fairies. Oh, I got white bread. Just have a munch on one when you're feeling a bit ropey and you'll be right as rain in no time, mun. But a wizard cannot live by bread alone. <laughs> oh boy, he needs a proper wand and all. And that knobbly thing in your hand is doing my flipping head in. See that big castle to the north? That's Ding Dong Dell, that is. I reckon we'll find ourselves a wand there. So let's get moving, shall we? Okay. What is this sparkly stuff that's been bothering me? You obtained a bunch of booster shoots? Oh no. No. I couldn't do anything about that. The enemy has the upper Let's hand. Go! Wait a minute. Why am I not able to- Oh, I couldn't attack at all. That was so sad. Am I about to die from that? My fingers are not like big enough to reach up to the equals and the minus key. Okay, so I'm running, but there's really no run key. Sad. Maybe I should grind a little. Oh, knickers, there's something I forgot to tell you. What's that, Mr. Drippy? Here in my world, you can use the arrow keys to change your viewpoint. If you were having any trouble with the controls, go to settings in your main menu and have a fiddle with them. You can switch vibration on and off there as well, ain't it? Speaking personally, I'd have it on. Rumble just ain't to rumble without a bit of rumble, isn't it? Let's get ready to rumble! Okay. Now, I know this is a lot to take in, Ollie Boy, but I'm sure you'll get used to it. Uh, I guess... Using mouse and... Yeah, this is definitely a gamepad type of game. Ding Dong Dell. So this is kind of a classic RPG where you have the big open world that you run around and then the monsters attack you there. This guy looks like he's done. Looks to me like a classic case of broken heartedness. Broken heartedness? You mean that thing you were talking about before? That's right. The broken hearted are people who've had part of their hearts stolen. Poor souls uh, just aren't themselves. Go all weird and uh, useless they do. This is what is this? Since Kingdom Hearts? By... Keep up, will you? Shadar, in it. If anyone tries to stand up to him or does anything he doesn't like, he breaks their hearts into pieces so they can't put up a fight. Jeepers. But if he stays that way, we can't get into Ding Dong Dell. Need a bit of cure, mend it, Ollie boy. It's time to mend your first broken heart. Mend it, but how do I do that? Well, you can't just do it yet. There's a couple of things we'll be needing first. But I know an old man who's got just what we need. Proper, useful, I am, eh? An old man? What old man? What do you mean, what old man? The old man, ain't it? Lives in a wood to the north of here. Proper, deep and deeply dark it is. That's why they call it the deep dark wood. Makes sense, I guess. This guy doesn't give a shit. He's just like, yeah, I'm ready to go. <laughs> hop, hop, one, two, one, two. Hmm? Want to enter the town, do you? Well, I'm afraid that's impossible at the moment. It's my colleague, you see. He's the one in charge of letting people in, but recently he's just been refusing to do it. He says he can't be bothered. <sighs> Good day. This just feels like Skyrim. Everyone's just like, hello! What's going on here? They can't keep us all waiting like this. Doesn't look like any of us are going anywhere in the near future. I swear that girl over there keeps looking at me. I hope they keep us out here a little longer. What girl? What's that? They've got to let us in. Mother will go spare if I'm late again. What does that mean? This is a disgrace. I've been here for hours. When are they going to start letting people in? Oh dear, I do hope they let us in soon. I need to buy the ingredients for my husband's favorite dinner. What is all the- what's with all these, like, older women who are just like, Oh man, I gotta make dinner. I sure do love making dinner for my husband and children. I guess that's just, like, the thing that you do. Where are all the, like, RPG wives who are like, Yeah, I've gotta go kick some ass. I'm sure they're in this game. I've gotta go fight dragons and crap. Wait, where am I going? Okay, it's this way. I just pick a road and followed it. No, I'm gonna die. What is that? I can't see what it is. It looks like a bunny. You know what? I'm gonna fight you. 
See sleep sleepy fowl. What is it doing? Drowsy drops? Uh-oh. I might actually, like, die. This is the start of the game. I'm gonna have to eat that bread after all. Level up. 3G. Oliver reached level 2. Okay, so there's no point distribution or anything, which is good for me because I'm indecisive. When it comes to, like, do you want to put your points in magic points or do you want to put it in luck or crit chance? Which is the same thing as luck, I think. Or do you want to put it in defense or whatever? It's like, I don't know! I remember there was this one RPG game. I don't remember what it was, but I was like, no, I think I want luck and everything. I want every point in luck, please. Did it get the upper hand on me just then? Okay, it didn't. Let's do it! Let's do it! Huh. Oh, my health came back. So as long as I level up, I should be... I, I need to remember to actually click the attack button. He's so relieved, he's like, oh, thank god that that's over. I had to murder a small bird-like creature. Dump the egg! I got a dump- oops. I got a dump the egg. I gotta see what that is. How do I open the- there we go. Ingredients. A fresh spherical egg that's jam-packed with nutrients. An important part of any hearty breakfast. Herbs that are mainly used to increase potions efficacy. Especially in alchemical medicine making. Soft white bread that never seems to go stale. It's fluffy texture makes it filling, but not heavy. You ever just eat a fucking loaf of white bread? Minor bird. Let's do it. Yeah, me neither. I don't think eating loaves of white bread is like a thing that people do. God. Except back in the olden days. I mean, you eat like a bread roll, but not like a whole loaf of, like a loaf of sliced white bread. <laughs> That doesn't sound appetizing. I was apprehensive about this game at first, but I'm starting to enjoy it. Now that I'm actually at the game part instead of the story part. Or the walk around and go to go to point A and go to point B, you know, that whole thing. This plant's beautiful orange flowers brighten up the open plains on which they grow. So these are all ingredients. It means there's cooking in this game? Cooking in my RPG game? Oh shit, where's the map? I'm lost! There we go. How do I attack first? Let's go! I don't come on man. Yeah, that does hurt. Did he say it hurt when he fell asleep? Does it hurt to fall asleep, man? So little EXP. Poison be gone. I keep pressing the wrong buttons. I wish I had a controller. Provision. You can actually eat this. Leaves that extract poison from the body. Their bitter aftertaste is said to be proof of their effectiveness. Hopefully you can hear me okay. I did some editing with the audio and now it's like super loud. I keep going into the red which I think is better than just being in the yellow all the time. But of course you can hear all my nasty mouth noises, I'm sure. <laughs> the deep dark wood forest of fairy tales. I love me some forests. I'm just smiling. <laughs> Look at that, it's a waystone. There's useful. A waystone? Yeah, mun. There are these ancient stones. See, you can use them to store a record of your adventure so far. In wild places like forests and so on, you can't just plank yourself on the nearest rock and write... You... Okay. You can't just plank yourself on the nearest rock and write your story down. Why not? Why not, he says. Give me strength, mun. Because they're crawling with horrible beasties, ain't it? They aren't? That sounds kind of scary. 
You'll get used to it, Bun. Just remember, you can't go recording your progress any old where. Allow me to explain a little more. Touch away, Sona, and your health and magic power will be fully restored. Not bad, eh? And that's not all, Mun. These little viewers also let you save your viewer progress. A traveler's best friend they are. Which is why you should stop at every waystone you see and make good use of it. Better safe than sorry, ain't it? Sure, Mr. Grippy. Tidy, that's what I like to hear. Let's hope you're as good as your word. Right-ho, next stop, the old man of the woods. So I can heal at this. And what's that little thing next to it? Let's save. New slot. I'm gonna have 99 save slots by the end of this. That's my goal. What is it? what is this? Look at that, there's useful. If you were lucky, you'll be able to use these one day. Alright, so we can't use it now. It's probably a teleport. I'm always like, eh, I don't know if I want to buy a new video game. I don't... I'm like picky with video games. <laughs> but no, nah, this is pretty good. Oh, that must have hurt. Good thing he's wearing, like, actual jeans. Scrape the shit out of his knee. Jeepers. That's not the Deku tree. How do you, leafiness? Oh, Drippy, it's you. And to what do I owe the pleasure? He vaguely well, reminds me of, like, a Furby. From another world, see? And what it is, is, I was wondering if you might lend us a bit of a hand, like... Oh, I should It's a furby know. tree. You only ever come to see me when you are in need. Sorry, you're a tall ship. You know I'm always very grateful. Hmm. This boy. Why does this tree look like a furby? Did you bark, ship? Well, well. The pure-hearted one. He who will drive out the darkness. And Rippy, you mean to... That's right, your ancient ship. We're off to give Shadar a right royal hiding. You? Why? <laughs> as reckless as ever, I see. This is the creepiest tree I think I've ever seen in a game. Very well. You know how there's like always have my RPG trees, just they just like, talk and whatnot? This is a contender for the creepiest the looking one. Oh, yeah! Go my Clean forgot I F3 did. Is right, Dolly boy. Angry. Might be a bit early, but I suppose we better teach you to conjure up familiars, isn't it? F5 familiars. is. Yeah, familiars. Sad. In our world, you can magic up this is a surprise one. from your heart. See, they called familiars. Where we are going, the beasties are only going to get bigger and meaner. So you're going to need a helping hand, or claw, or beak, or tentacle. No tentacles, can please. Can I really do it? Well, there's only one way to find out. You want to help your mom, don't you? Uh, sure I do. Well then, grab your wizard's companion and turn to the page marked Form Familiar. But well, Mr. Drippy, there's no spell named Form Familiar here. You what? The boy is correct. Look at this, his wizard's companion. Why do you keep beeping? Stop beeping at me, phone. Leave me alone. It would seem that it is missing more than a few of its pages. Really? Knickers. So does that mean I can't cast a spell? Ho ho ho, I am not as powerless as all that, young man. Oliver, was it? Let me see now. Form familiar. Ah, yes. A gift from me to you, young Oliver. He made that from his own bark. Someone familiar from the depths of your heart. Creatures are... Sorry, I'm just trying to get closer to this to read what the hell that says, but now it's not detecting my camera. I mean, my face anymore. Thank you very much, Old Father Oak. But simply possessing the page for a particular spell is no guarantee that you will be able to make use of it. Some spells are simply not meant for certain wizards, such as life. Don't worry about that for now, man. Just give form familiar a go, will you? Sure thing, Mr. Drippy. So it doesn't cost any M- I didn't read it again. What the hell is wrong with me? What's this? 
tidy work, Ollie boy. Look at that. A warrior from your very own heart. A familiar. This is a familiar? Looks just like That's him. That's right. The fighting spirit inside you made flesh. A soldier of your soul. And he can really help me fight? He's so cute. And the stronger you get, the harder he's gonna hit as well. <laughs> wow. Oh. He's so cute. <laughs> so this is a familiar, huh? And he'll be coming with us? Indeed he will, Ollie boy. The more the merrier, ain't it? Here, you better give the fellow a name, eh? Mighty. Insert another suggestion. Matey. Mito. Smitey. I like Smitey. Are you sure you want to call the mite Smitey? Yup. Oliver, we cannot let you set off into the wild with only that withered wand in your hand. Let me give you some spells to aid you in battle. The first is a restorative incantation known as Healing Touch. Me! You received a page describing the Healing Touch spell. Tidy, that's the most useful spell there is for a wandering adventurer. Cuts, bruises, sprains, gashes, all gone in a jiffy with healing touch. Gee, you make it sound like I'm going to get hurt an awful lot, Mr. Jiffy. Yep! Welcome to RPG! Next, I give you the gift of the Blazing Inferno. Fireball. Shoots a little ball of fire. That one does. Plant-based species flipping hate firemen. Even old tree face here is scared of fireball. Jiffy, how dare you? You would never aim such a spell at me, would you, boy? Golly, of course not, old father. Oh, he said golly. Cap, it says conjure up a blessing. A, I can't read. Conjure a, con <laughs> conjure up a blazing orb of flame. The actual page says more on it, but it's too small for my eyeballs. Now, boy, you can press C at any time to open your spells menu. While a spell like Healing Touch can be used at any time, Fireball is meant primarily for use in battle. That said, the most unexpected of spells can prove incomparably useful given the right set of circumstances. Novel problems call for novel situations after all. If you find yourself at something of a loss, I recommend that you go through your magical repertoire. You never know which spell might save the day. You can now use the spells menu. Oh, what is that? It's so cute. Uh oh. It's like huh? a duck and a dinosaur. Him a fight, is it? Better give him what he wants, Solly boy. Huh? But what do I do? Just think what you want him to do, and he'll do it. It's as easy as falling off a log, man. Okay. It's easy as falling off a log, man. Here goes. Teeny bopper. Let's go. Right ho, Ollie boy, it's time to learn about fighting with familiars. First off, you gotta pick who's going to fight out of you and your little friend. You've gone to the trouble of making him, so we'd best give him a go, eh? Select him, will you? Okay. Tidy, now let's send him into the fray, shall we? Oh yeah, see that circle on the top left here? That's your familiar stamina gauge. What that does is it shows you how much longer he can fight for, see? The longer you keep him on the go, the shorter his stamina gauge will get. When it's empty, that means the poor lad's so tired he can't fight anymore. Tragic, eh? So before that happens, you have to call him back to you for a bit of rest, like. Oh, and there's something else about familiars you should know. See this little mark by here? That's his sign. Yeah, I was wondering about that. It's sort of a, like a star sign, except there's only four of them. Sun, moon, star, and planet. Lion like star signs, different ones get on better. You can use that to help you in battle. Next, let's talk about tricks. They're proper powerful abilities, a bit like your spells. And just like spells, they cost MP to use. You can see the cost written next to them. What you've got to remember is that you and your familiar share MP and HP. So if a familiar uses a trick or takes a big hit, it's your MP or HP that'll suffer. Crikey, this is a long old lesson, eh? Right, let's finish with a top tip, shall we? Your familiar stamina is always going down, so you'll need to swap with him regularly. You can do that anytime you like by pressing Q, ain't it? I'm going to stop talking before I put us both to sleep. It's your turn to sing for your supper. Go on, boy buck. 
Uh, oh my god. I wish I had a controller. I love these little dino dudes. Oh, hell yeah! I forgot that I can just run around. He's got... oh. Swap out. I love how you just slap them with the stick. Oh, he levels up too? Oliver reached level 3. Smitey reached level 2. So now you know how to fight with a familiar, ain't it, Ollie boy? To be a true contender, you'll need to learn when to let your familiar loose and when to take control. When to take control yourself. I'll do my best, Mr. Drippy. Oh, and when he's not fighting, the little fellow can be found by taking found taking it easy in the creature cage. What do you mean creature cage? In the creature cage, you can shower your faithful familiars with delicious treats. There's all kinds of treats to choose from. Some will improve their abilities, and there's others that can even teach them tr new tricks. Tidy. We the little blighters enough of what they fancy, and the bonds of familiarity between you will grow, meaning you can boost their abilities even more. Careful not to stuff them too full of sweets, though. They'll only end up getting full up. Adoration and moderation, that's the key. What, is, what does that mean? Full up? It's probably a lot to get your head around, but just remember that the creature cage is where you look after your familiars and take it from there, ain't it? There's some... thing that says VC face... VC face on the screen, really? Fix it! <laughs> I forgot to remove that. Thanks for telling me that. Remember when I went to edit my settings to get rid of the angry face? That's what it was. The creature cage. Got it. I promise I looked after him real well, Mr. Drippy. Oh, I almost forgot. We had something we wanted to ask you, you were a trunkiness. There's a guard down in Ding Dong Dell and he's broken hearted, see? Hmm, broken hearted, you say? Shadara's evil spreads still further. So you will be needing. That we will, you are okitude. There's quick you are. You have still got it, ain't you? Ho ho ho, patience, young grippy. Of course I have. Let me see now. Hmm, I know it's here somewhere. Crikey, you've not gone and lost it, have you? Hmm? Lost it? The insolence. I put it away safely among my uppermost branches. It's just a little tangled up there, that's all. Ah, oh, while well, I seek it out, I have a favor to ask of you. What? I did mention we're in a flipping hurry, didn't I? We haven't got time to go. Mr. Jippy, we should help old Father Oak. He gave us those spells, didn't he? Ah, how very refreshing to meet such a responsible and honest young man. Alright, alright, I get the flipping message. Go on, what is it you need us for? Well, it's the guardian of these woods, you see. The guardian, eh? What's up with the old fellow? I'm afraid he's become rather unruly of late, and he is neglecting his duties. Well, 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 that is no good, is it? We'd better help you sort him out then, eh? The Guardian? He sounds kind of tough. Too right he is. He's way stronger than you or average beastie, but you've got a familiar on your side now, Mun. He'll be fine. And besides, if you're going to take down Shadar, you can't back out of a bit of light Guardian bashing now, can you? Okay, I'll do it. How very kind of you. The Guardian can be found in the deepest part of the wood beyond the Whispering Waterfalls. I wish you luck. What did that actually look like? Oh, it actually did say VC face on the fucking screen. I'm so sorry about that. I guess I am, huh? Now then, why don't you take a closer look at your new mate? Uh, how do I do that, Mr. Drippy? It's a piece of cake, Mun. Now listen up. If you look in the main menu, you'll see friends and familiars. That's where you'll find all sorts of details about your familiar's abilities. It looks a bit complicated, and there are a fair few options kicking about in there, and to be fair... Shit. I was moving the window, and then I didn't get to read it. 
Now, you're still new to this wizarding lark, so there's a limit to what you can do, ain't it? But keep fighting monsters and eventually get stronger. We call that leveling up, see? you probably make some new mates before long and all, so be sure to take a closer look at them like I showed you. You got it, Mr. Drippy. Okay, let me look at all those new menu things. Feature cage. This is cute. I don't have any treats. I can have much more familiars. Tricks. Oh, you can learn all these? Select. Learned at level 10. Wait, they could go up to like level 50 or so. Griffy ticket? Draggle ticket? Fairy suit? Where, where the hell did all this shit come from? Golden Might? Golden Drongo? Was I given this shit and I just didn't know about it? While I was reading, I was kind of like half spaced out, so I don't... Okay, whatever. Follow the star. I wish I could pick up items. You know how in Monster, where are you off to? Oops. How was I supposed to know? It looked like it was that way. Treasure chest. You obtained a loaf of white bread. Spring waterfalls. Ooh, this is pretty. There's more of those little. Look at that. It looks like a carrot. My stomach is like twisted. <laughs> I'd best warn you, Ollie boy. It's absolutely crawling with monsters beyond here. Careful you don't get got before you even get to the guardian, eh? I'll be fine, Mr. Drippy. I have a familiar to help me now. There's brave you are. Don't forget, though, if the going gets tough, don't be afraid to cast healing touch. I sure won't. I remember what old tree face told you, the spells menu is a mere tap of C away. You should try to familiarize yourself with the main menu too while you were at it. Don't worry, you're not going to have in the year <laughs> You are not going to break anything no matter what you press, so have a good old poke around. Ain't it? And when you learn new skills and that, new options will come up on the main menu. So keep your eyes peeled and make the most of your new toys. Jeepers, there's so much to remember. You'll soon get used to it, old man. No worries. Now, pass the whispering waterfalls and go on to the Guardian of the Woods we go. Right, let's go help him get back to normal. Oh, good. Your HP and MP are completely restored. Yup. Going for that 99 save slots. Does this thing have arms? Yes, it has arms. We can do this. Teeny weeny. Here goes. So, are we always gonna have familiars? I'm pretty sure there's other characters in this game. The end. My stomach is like really starting to bother me, so I might BRB. have some chill time music playing. A bar of chocolate? Why did that bar of chocolate look really funny to me? Chocolate with a high sugar content, making it popular with those who have a sweet tooth. Heaviness. 
What does that mean? Well, it's a treat, so I'm gonna give it to my little dude. Great. <laughs> I was about to read your comment and then I got attacked. Spit too? It's gonna spit on me. Interesting game, cool avatar, funny personality. I'm just feeling really good about it. I'm glad that you like it. And I'm glad that you joined. Thank you for coming to the stream. It's appreciated. He's getting the crap beat out of him. Okay, so it looks like there's no, like, when that blue clock thing spins around. I thought that I had to press something, like a timer reaction crap, but that's not the case. Smitey reached level 3. I wish I could talk to Smitey. Crikey, I know there was something I forgot to tell you about familiars. Are you British or are you Australian? Make up your damn mind. Huh? What's that? This is important, Ollie boy, so listen carefully, alright? I showed you how your familiars can use tricks, didn't I? Well, as the little fellows get stronger, they'll start learning new ones. If you want to see what tricks your familiars have their their sleeves, choose friends and familiars from the main menu. Tricks are a bit different from magic. Each individual trick builds a single command slot, you see? Press F when you were in the friends and familiars bit, and you can change the command slots used for trick. Okay, so this is basically Pokemon. Which reminds me, a familiar can only remember a maximum of 8 tricks at any given time. And if you want them to learn a new one, you have to make them forget one of their old ones. Bit of a pain, like, but at least you can teach them old familiar new tricks. <laughs> anyway, the important thing is that if you assign a trick to your familiar command wheel, if you don't, you won't be able to use it. Simple as that. Okay, I think I got it. Okay, so I've been live for an hour and about 30 minutes, so I'm going to take a BRB. No, don't touch me. This always happens in games. I'm just like, hey, I need to take a break. But Let's go! Oh, and they're attacking me too. I need to. Oh my god! What am I. What am I whoa, 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 whoa! Jeepers! Oh, sh I'm dead. I'm sorry, Mom. Oh my god, I died! <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> well, at least I can BRB now. Oh my god, I really died. You will lose all of your money. What the fuck? Whatever. That's- that's some bullshit. This game does not fuck around! Holy shit, okay. So... Gonna have to be eating white bread in between battles now. Anyway, it's BRB time. I'm gonna play some chill tunes. I'm sorry, Mom! Just that was just stupid. I know I'm still streaming, don't worry about it. I'll mute myself in a second.
I was muted. And we are back. Let me just make sure that I can see everything. There we go. Let's try not to die this time. Watch this. Here goes. So pretty much getting attacked from behind is a recipe for dying. <laughs> Just playing. Yeah. Rainbow. Well, now we can start the journey back to get all of our forty two gold that we lost. Let's not get attacked by from behind. How do I attack first? It we told me how, this. but I just blanked on it. My health. Oh, we share health. I completely forgot about that. That's why I. That's why I died. The familiar takes damage, and so do I. For some reason, I was like, no, we, we have different health. Yeah, I just... Vincent did over it. I went straight Vincey brain over it. I was like, reading? Pfft, loser. Loser. Loser strats is reading. Let's not read at all. For real, how do I attack? It's starting to bother me. So, I'm probably going to have to go back and heal a few times. Okay, so that died in one attack. Fifteen G is so sad. I had a forty-two G and I just lost all of it. Could I have reloaded my save to avoid losing my money? Do you always lose all of your money when you die? Wait, no, I want that. Okay, that's not it. I hope not. Got bread. Bread acquired. That looks fun. We can wah, do wah, this. Wah. <laughs> we can do it. Yes, we can. I wish I had more MP. I can use items. Blinded. This is genuinely hard. That would be cool if I could make sandwiches. Also, I'm hitting nothing right now because I'm blinded. Nice! Maybe the weak spot for this thing is behind it. It's attacking me. Oh, I have five seconds left. I gotta pick up these balls. The glimpse. Isn't there another game? Like a popular game that had glimpse? Oh yeah. Spirit Fair. You could collect glimpse to... Um... Increase... Stuff. It's not a very smart way to say that, but you could use glims to buy things <laughs> with the current when the currencies in that game. I should probably grind a little bit, huh? Oh, I have to sneak up behind it. I don't think you actually hit the attack button. You just have to sneak up behind it. That thing has a shield now. Nice! You know what this thing reminds me of? Helioptile? It looks like one of those 
crappy X and Y Pokemons. I'm sorry, I said X and Y was crappy. But X and Y was just one of the most forgettable Pokemon experiences. Okay, I won't say it's crappy, it's just... X and Y was not very enjoyable for me. Level up! Oh, I got a Sunday? Holy shit! Is that a treat? Yes it is, oh my god. Heaviness. A chilled dessert that has a fine, refreshing sweetness. Almost anything can be added as a topping. This makes me want ice cream right now. Let me, let me drink that treat. Yes. Yes. You can't just eat the glass! He ate the fucking whole thing, glass and all. And I suppose he's gonna eat the wrapper too? Oh, he loved it. Oh my god. <laughs> he loves chocolate. I love chocolate too. I don't have the map up. chocolate that I really like is the caramello chocolate. Those squares that have the caramel inside, those are pretty good. Coffee? A bottle of iced coffee. I can never sneak up on these things. Let's go! This thing is like a mix between a platypus and a dinosaur. So that's like three different things. Yeah, cut loose would be overkill here. Okay, now I finally have my 41G back. That didn't take long. I was going to play Okami today, but I've played Okami so many times that I feel like it would just be... me playing Okami and just not being shocked by anything. I wanted to try something completely different. Nice! That's not dead yet. I really like Okami. It's one of those games that I can just play over and over again, and I did play it over and over again. I remember getting it when it was on the PS2. I almost said PS3. But I got it on the PS2, and then I got it for the Wii, and then I got it for the PC. And then it came out on Switch, and I was like, well, I have no choice. I simply have no choice. My crush on Waka is too much. I haven't taken any damage yet. How is that possible? There goes the damage. So that one had a different sign. I don't know if you saw it, but its thing was blue in the corner. That makes me think that maybe its sign was the moon sign? Maybe we should actually go towards the objective now. Do this. Onion head. Here go. All I can think about lately is the Omori soundtrack. When I sleep, it plays in my head. Or when I try to sleep. White bread. You think there's wheat bread in this game? I got it. Jabber. Watch this. You have the upper hand. Ah. 
That was nice indeed. I wonder what level I should be for the first boss. Oh my god, was I just here? Save number four! No, I wasn't. Hold up, Ollie boy! Huh? What is it? Listen, Mun, someone's coming! But I don't... It's him, it's the flipping guardian! Oh no, he's gonna die! <gasps> the guardian of the woods, steadfast defender of the forest. <laughs> Remember when I said, Oh, I should probably prepare for a boss fight. Defending is an actual strat here. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is not cool at all. Okay, we can't use that for a while. Let's defend. He missed. Let's try. Oh, I'm just like... Okay. Pressing every single wrong key. You best defend yourself! Yeah, defending is a legit strat. Nice one, Ollie boy. There's Tidy. Defending against big moves like that can give you a nice little bonus as well. So when he starts building up a nasty looking number, be sure to put up your guard. I really don't think that um anything except fireball is gonna do something here. He's tired now. Miss. Oh sh- No, 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 defend! No! Oh crap. This is, um... <laughs> this is, um... Really freaking hard. I think I'm just not good. Let's try that again with the less dying. I'm not even sure grinding would have saved me there. <laughs> this is this is serious. He just gets thrown by anything. Oh, 
Recharging. Why don't I don't have any MP? Oh my god. How do I exit this menu? Legitimately stuck in the game because I don't know what the hell to do here. This <laughs> is so I know I don't have enough MP, can you let me exit the menu, please? I'm going insane right now. I tried backspace. This is so embarrassing. Tab. It's tab. Defend, defend, defend. He threw me some MP. Let's do fireball. Something tells me that's not gonna happen a lot where he gives me stuff. No. Fucking defend, okay. Unflipping guard. Something tells me this is not gonna be the last time where we get destroyed. Miss. Tab. We could do with one of these. Although he did give me some right there. It stunned me. I'm scared to attack. Like, when is he gonna use Windfall again? Windfall, there it is. Now's your chance! Look, Ollie boy, the big lump's gone and knuckered himself. Now's your chance to give him a proper walloping. Okay! It's fireball time! Chance time! Holy shit. I do not want him to use Windfall again. Thank you. What would I do without this guy? And now I'm stunned. And now he's gonna go into Windfall. This is like the baby fight. This is why I don't play stuff like Final Fantasy 14. Def defend, please. Okay, I still managed to pull that off. Did he throw me a MP ball? I'm just scared to get close to him. I don't want shit to happen. Let's do another fireball. We're getting there, we're getting there. Go on, do your windfall. Do it. Okay. That'll restore all your HP for you. Not only that, but it'll let you do a miracle move that doesn't use any MP. 
I'm not grabbing that right now. I need to wait for the defend to end. Crap. <laughs> Level up. Thank God. We got 75G. Spirit of the Woods. Lava reach level 5. Smitey reach level 5. Sandblast. That was almost very bad again. Crikey, that was a close run, Mun. The garden, he headed toward the deepest part of the wood. Do you think he's back to normal now? Your guess is as good as mine, Mun, but that weird look in his eyes had gone at least. I reckon he'll probably take some time out to get his head together, then he'll be right back to the old gardening. But what made him go all screwy like that? You don't think it was... Of course his flipping was, had Shadar written all over it. He would best watch over our backs if we visit any more forests. Saying that, you get guardians everywhere. Anyway, we did what we came to do. We'd best get back to see old tree face, eh? Sure, let's go. I got an achievement for that. The Serenity of the Guardian of the Woods Heart has unlocked a story in the Wizard's Companion. It contained a new tale of wonder. The second tale. Was there a first tale? Hmm. You did well to come to the just Guardian of the Woods. They just moved a little bit. And I found what I was looking for. But first, a gift. My way of thanks. Gee. You were on a roll, by yeah, man. I entrust to you one of my closest companions, the Telling Stone. His knowledge of our world rivals even my own. I thought he might help you on your journey. I'm sure if you ask him nicely, he will tell you anything you wish to know. And the other thing, the locket. This is what you came here for, is it not? It is a vessel for fragments of the human heart. To rescue the heartbroken, you will need the locket and the spells required to use it. I will give you those as well. Thank you so much, Old Father Oak. Hmm. Such a well-mannered child. Unlike some I can mention. What? I... All right, all right. Ta, Buckface! Hmm. Some things are as unchanging as the forest. No matter. You had best be on your way. Now, boy. You must come and see me from time to time. And tell me of your travels. I look forward to hearing of your progress. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Let's yes, be Mr. Three. Furby Tree, sir. Time to head back to Ding Dong Dell and mend a broken heart. Okay. Take heart spell. Use magic to help share a person's virtues. Give heart. Bring balance to someone's heart by restoring a lost virtue. Oh, I do so love to chat. Visit me again and tell me of your travels, won't you? You tell me a nice enough story, who knows? Perhaps I will reward you with a little something. Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. Learn how to play the game and other useful information. Life lessons. 
I proffer the priceless gift of knowledge. I have to seize. I have to seize. I think I muted in the middle of that. Sorry. Let us turn to the methodology of moving. Press W S D. Shift to unleash the walking. Press W S D to run like the wind. Try to level my prediction. All the message I'm changing. Okay. No young adventurer can afford to remain ignorant as to the intricacies of the mini-map and the local map. Allow me to enlighten you. You have no doubt spotted the diminutive map in the top right corner of the screen. This is a mini-map. It shows the area in your immediate vicinity. Pressing tab, you can change to a bird's eye view. Okay, so this is just how to play the game. Dangerous places. There's chests. There's like a blue chest that I haven't found yet. Species tamed? Ooh! Nobilia. More to eat, Nymphae, Draconis, Arcana, Daemonia, Vermis, Flora, Automata, Minima, Militus, Mystiae, Aquatica, and Avis. It jumps out from behind trees and uses giant wings to blow sand into the eyes of its victim. Oh, you can even see what it drops. And what is its element, I guess? Born from a beast's burning desire for freedom, this carefree character loves nothing more than to hunt in forests. What does the X over the wind symbol mean? Drops a crunchy carrot and iced coffee. It's probably a really rare drop rate. I don't remember getting an iced coffee from one of these. Ah, oh, rough. Often seen gumboling on the plains. This rough and ready customer has a real... Bixby, I did not call you! I did not ask for you, Bixby. This rough and rainy customer has a real aversion to rain. Pint-sized pugilist will spare up to the most ferocious foe without a moment's square up to the most ferocious foe without a moment's hesitation. They drop cheeseburgers. Okay, so you can tame all of these things. It looks like. And have all of them as familiars? That's really cool. I want one of these. This is a Flareon. And nobody can convince me otherwise. What is this thing? An irritable creature who is fond of spitting seeds at anyone it doesn't like the look of. It drops a cake and a sandwich. Its usual modus operandi is to lie and wait for a prey to walk by before rolling itself into a ball and giving chase. Whipper snapper. That's not usually how a, I think a Venus flytrap does stuff, but this is a draconis. A gifted tree climber who often sleeps in the canopy. Back on the ground, it will kick sand in the eyes of any who startle it. Hmm. Yeah, it does seem kind of like ooblets. It's got little creatures. Oh god. The ancient protector of the deep dark wood, placid by nature, but its rage can shake the earth. Oh, that means it doesn't like fire. The X means it, that it's weak to that, or something like that. So you can search by habitat. The wizard's companion completion, the creature compendium completion. 
few pieces of heart you have gathered. Spirit of the Woods. A roaring gale is sealed within. A vessel worn around the neck designed to sort pieces of people's hearts. It's starting to feel like... <laughs> this is not what Kingdom Hearts is about, collecting people's hearts. Yes, I will make a new save slot. Every single time. So we're going to go to the next area, and then I think I'm going to call it, because... I am kind of tired. Ouroboros! Let's go! Here goes. I just, like, sat there staring at what was happening on the screen. Nice, nice! So it looks like our friend will go around dropping MP balls and HP balls. We can do this. I want to tame a rough thingy. I didn't know this game had this kind of system in it. So, Uba's got an update recently. Um, and I think it was like a Halloween-ish update. But I don't know if I want to play it. Because while Ubus was fun, it was very, very early access. Like a Slime Rancher, Sl Slime Rancher is probably the better game to play if you want like a full experience game. Ubus is fun for a little while, but man, the hunting for the glimmery ones. What is it? Glimmer? Let's glimmer Ubus? The shiny ones? gets tiring after a while when you realize just how low the spawn rate is. Well, since they are shiny- Ooh, that was a one-hit kill. You see me jiggling, it's just because I'm moving. In my chair a little bit. What's this thing? Bartender? Watch this. They look like Here unicorn sheep. They almost use a special attack on me. I think I went to the forest, maybe a little underleveled. Because now everything is dying in one hit. Let's go! Here goes! <laughs> Wheel. I like the bartenders. They remind me of a little character that I used to draw, like just for fun. It was kind of like a unicorn dude. Thank you. 
Oh, what? Let's do it. They have the upper hand. Arg, arg. God. Don't touch. Let's see what happens when they get this guy's piece of heart. Unfortunately, I kind of want to see what the city looks like because I'm sure they rendered it really beautifully and it looks amazing. And you can probably explore looks it all. Like he's still the worse for wear, huh? Mr. Drippy, we have to help him. Right, though, Ollie boy. I better explain how it's done then, innit? First thing you'll need to do is to take the locket Treeface gave you and fill it with the piece of heart our friend is missing. Uh, the piece of heart? That's right. One of the bits we're all made up of deep down. The bits we're made up of? I don't understand. Hmm, how can I put it? Ah, just give it a go. You'll soon work it out, man. First off, what that guard's missing uh, is a drop of good old-fashioned enthusiasm. Uh, Find some and give it to him and he'll uh, be right as rain. Okay, but... Where do I find enthusiasm? Well, now, feast your eyes on that other guard by there. And, uh, ha! And, He's got uh, more get-up-and-go than a sack ha! of squirrels. If he hasn't got some enthusiasm to spare, I'm a monkey's and, uh, uncle. Ask and, uh, nicely, ha! and I'm sure he'll give you a lend of it. Sure, I'll try my best. Liquid enthusiasm. Five-hour energy. Uh, excuse me, sir? I wonder if you could do us a favor. I wish I could, I really do, but I'm afraid I can't open this gate without my colleague's permission. Oh no, it's not that. We just want to borrow some of your enthusiasm. Haha, <laughs> well if it's enthusiasm you're after, I've got plenty to spare. Take as much as you want. Thank you, sir. Uh, Mr. Drippy, how do I get the enthusiasm out of his, uh, heart? Look at the pages old tree face gave you for your book, ain't it? It's a spell called Take Heart you need to cast first. Take Heart, huh? Sure. Okay, let's actually read some of these spells. Healing Touch. Heals wounds with a warm rush of kind-heartedness. Element Sun. MP3. Effect Shape Point. Gateway. Opens up a doorway that transports the caster between worlds. Liberates some of a consenting subject's emotional essence. Liberates it, huh? Give heart. Restores balance to broken hearts. Summons forth a familiar from the caster's heart to fight beside them. So healing touch is a sun spell. Battle spells, all spells, and everyday spells. So let's do this one. Tidy! Looks like you've got yourself a locket full of enthusiasm. Now, you've just got to give it to our friend over by there. Okay, here goes. I wonder if anything interesting. <laughs> wonder if anything interesting will happen. So we need to give this guard the enthusiasm we got from his friend, huh? That's right, Ollie boy. The spell you'll need this time is Give Heart, ain't it? I know it sounds just like the other one, but don't get them mixed up. Whatever you do, don't worry, Mr. Drippy. Give Heart is the one for repairing broken hearts. I'll remember that. Now, when you cast Give Heart, you'll need to choose the piece of heart you want to restore from your locket. Of course, you've only got one in there at the moment, so even you can't mess this up. Go on then, give that guard his enthusiasm back. Alright, here goes. Form familiar. Become my familiar. This man is now indebted to me. The distilled spirit of get up and go. Enthusiasm. Oh, so there's different types of heart? That's kind of cool. This is starting to, I don't know why this is starting to remind me of Yokai Watch, maybe because this is by level 5 studios. Beautiful! It worked! Nido! Uh, tidy! Looks like he's uh, back in the land of the living! What's happening? Where am I? Well, 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 you're back with us, I see. Yes, I. 
I feel so strange, as if a weight has been lifted from my heart. I feel better. <laughs> Thank goodness for that. I was worried about you. I'm sorry, I wasn't myself. But I'm back now, and ready to work harder than ever. Well then, these fine people have all come to visit our great kingdom. I think we'd better let them in. Indeed we had. We were so sad before. <laughs> this way, everybody! I can't thank you enough, but I'm sure you'll be re I'm sure you'll receive your fair share of merit stamps for performing such a heroic feat. Merit stamps? What are those? You mean you helped me without even thinking of the merit stamps you'd earned? You do have a merit stamp card, don't you? You used to collect stamps awards for helping those in need. If you don't have one, you should visit Swift Solutions in town and pick one up. Listen to me, rabbiting on. I have to get this gate open. That's what you're waiting for, isn't it? Yes, please, sir. Tidy, we can finally go inside. Ooh. We're finally here. We're finally in Ding Dong Dell. Indeed we are, Ollie boy. There were a few unseen snags on the way, I'll admit. But all's well that ends well. And I was going to take you to see old Tree Face eventually, anyway. Right along with the wand hunt. The king of this place knows a spell or two. Let's see if he can help us, shall we? A real-life king? Sure. I guess that means we should head for that big old palace over there, huh? Big town. <laughs> Welcome to Ding Dong Dell. If you're looking for the royal palace, it's straight down this road. Nobody seems to have any energy these days. Well, young man, what do you think of Ding Dong Dell? Plenty of greenery, isn't there? It's just a shame that everyone's become so idle of late. I wonder what's happened to them all. <sighs> I just don't feel like I have got the energy to do anything. God. Just let me explore. This is the palace, but... Creepers. It's so... different. Stop staring, man. It's rude. But look at those goofy clothes. Goofy? Are you blind? You are the goofy one around these parts. <laughs> goofy. Ah, look at his funny clothes. Oh, Stop it, huh? Huh? Oh, oh, really look so strange. strange. Crikey! We better get you a new outfit before they put you in the zoo. Come on, Ollie boy. Uh, okay. I'm sorry, Oliver, but no matter how trendy they are over in Motorville, your clothes are just plain out of place over by your... Are they really so strange? But this is all I have. And we'll just have to buy you some more, won't we? There's a lot of shops here in Ding Dong Delmon. One of them must sell clothes, ain't it? I guess. Okay, let's go find a store where I can buy a new outfit. Okay, new outfit, then I'm stopping. <laughs> there, there, right here. Because I am kind of getting a minor headache. This is not a clothing store. Excuse me, ma'am. Do you sell clothes from this world? I mean, do you sell regular clothes? Clothes here? Oh, hoot, I'm afraid we don't have any in stock at the moment. Don't tell us that, Mon. Have you seen how the boy's dressed? He's a flipping embarrassment. He's getting funny looks wherever we go. My street cred is in ruins. Who? a fairy. I used to see your kind all the time, but I'll bet children these days don't even know who you are. You were telling me, kids these days, Mon, were disrespectful, ignorant, downright rude. They wouldn't know a fairy if it kicked them in the flipping shins. Not like you, eh, missus? Now about these clothes. Yes, dear, who? Let me think now. Ah, now I come to think of it, there was a traveler who left a set of clothes here once upon a time. He bought a new outfit, you see, so he left his old one behind. Roughly human-shaped, is it? And cheap, I shouldn't doubt. Tidy will take it. But Mr. Drippy... Yes, yes, now I remember, he was the one who... Yes, he said they were very special clothes, made from fabric woven by the, from the fibers of the sky tree, if I remember rightly. Lovely and comfy, extremely hard-wearing, and lucky to hoot. I think the only problem would be the size. 
If it's you who are going to wear this outfit, dear, I'll need a few hours to make some alterations. It would look huge on you otherwise. Could you come back tomorrow morning? Of course we can, Mun. How's it about that then, Ollie boy? There's Lucky. Neato. Thank you very much, ma'am. Hoo hoo hoo. A pleasure, my dear. Toodle hoo for now. Until tomorrow. So, we have to show up to the king looking like a goofy ass. Tomorrow's flipping ages away, Mun. I'd like to go and see the king right away, like, but we can't go till we got your new outfit sorted, ain't it? I guess not, but what will we do until tomorrow? I know, that guard at the gate said something about us getting some kind of car from a place in town, ain't it? Something Solutions, I think he said the name of the shop was. The one we just went in, the Hootique? That's the old one. That's the old one. Was it, uh, Swift Solutions? There's Clever of you, that's the one. I know it was some other kind of bird. Nice one, Ollie boy. The stores here sure do have goofy names. You reckon? They're just named after what they look like, ain't it? Anyway, let's get over to Swift Solutions, shall we? Okay. And that is actually where I'm going to... Oh no. That is actually where I'm going to save the game. And stop for now. Thank you for coming to the stream. I really enjoyed this game. It's a strange game for sure, but... Oops. But it is enjoyable. I don't know why I called it the strangeness now, but... It's, it's a game that I'm like not... I, I didn't think that I would like RPGs, but after watching some other people play RPGs and playing the RPG myself, it's pretty fun. I'm just not used to the whole... Die very quickly with... With no preparation kind of thing. I usually, I'm used to like Pokemon where I spend a while grinding and I'm like prepared for it. And I usually have some sort of way to combat stuff. Anyway, that'll be all then. Thank you for coming to the stream, and I hope to see you tomorrow or maybe the next day for more of this game. Bye bye now!